1973 Ford Bronco, full restoration, uncut, extremely rare. It's really hard to find these. This truck has less than a thousand miles on it since it's been put back together. It is a two owner Bronco, very few modifications. It's got a small two inch body lift on it. It's going to go kind of all over the stainless, the paint, it's all in excellent condition. Rear bumper, small trailer hitch on there if you want to pull a boat with it or whatever you need to. It's got an absolutely great running and driving 302 automatic setup in it. That cable you see hanging down is a tire, spare tire lock. Locks the spare tire from anybody borrowing it that you don't want them to body lines on it up and down are just absolutely laser straight. Take a look at the rockers where these are usually pretty problematic. Zero issues whatsoever there. Doors fit better than any Bronco I've ever seen. Usually they always buck out in the back. Badging is all new. Wheels and tires. BF Goodrench all terrains. Polished aluminum Anson style wheels. These are still, still have the Little nipples on them there, unmodified hood, which is nice. Uncut, unmodified, extremely hard to find these old Broncos any longer. Great color combination. The white on it is just in absolutely perfect condition. It's never even had a rock chip on it. Whoever's buying this is virtually getting a brand new Bronco. So, this Bronco is really neat once. One again, it's an uncut rear fender, which is really rare. Expensive top. The entire top modifies such as this. These sides will roll up into safari style sides. So you can just have the rear sides open and you can retain this down or you can roll this up all the way as well. Or you can just roll up the back to have access through the back and then have the cabs open. If you want just a bimini top, you can roll this part all the way forwards to only have a cover on the cab and the rear is completely open. It is an amazing top, an expensive top. Really nice to have on here. So let's take a look at quality of paint and the door jams. Excellent. No chipping, no problems, no flakes. Brand new door panels, armrests. All the striking gears, all brand new. These doors closed like they would have in 1973, right on Ford's lot. New carpet kit, stainless, all this is all factory Ford. Take a look at the dash. New cluster, pristine condition. Uncut, all original. How cool is that? The original radio in there. So hard to find Broncos in this condition any longer. Do these out. Easily that door closes. Perfect gap driver's side let's take a look at the passenger side as well all new weather stripping throughout it's nice and airtight when you're running down the highway just a gorgeous paint color the contrast to white very vintage not the original color for the Bronco, but I think it's an excellent choice. So window glass folds down as well, so you can go full convertible on this model. And you have an automatic on the column, and there's your manual transfer case. Seats, excellent condition. They are brand new. Original 73 Ford Bronco owner's manual. Extremely neat. Buckets, rear bench, same quality. Very hard to see in here, I apologize. It is excellent. No rips, no tears, no stains, brand new. Carpet kit throughout. All the rear panels, which you can see here slightly. Um, you can kind of see one back there. Probably have them in the pictures. They're brand new as well. Virtually everything on is brand new. You do have a full roll bar around the back. That is not the original one. That is an aftermarket, expensive one. Full roll cage in the rear. This is a hard, I apologize, not a hard, this is your bimini top here with a brace, but that's what if you just want to roll all the back of it up, put it there. You don't have to remove it with ease. You can simply 
roll it all up into itself, license plate holder, back tailgate, just as excellently finished as the rest. So this has been sitting in the photo booth all evening. It is ice cold, but I'm gonna show you how well this has been put together. In just a second here. So engine is still in pristine condition. Restoration. The only thing I can see that may be missing is an original bottle jack, but I probably have one I can put in. Look at how nice this is. It's absolutely show quality. So, here's my hand directly on the manifold. This is an ice cold start. I want people to know what it's going to be like when you fire them up in the morning. You don't have to worry about it. You want to drive this every day, drive something cool every day. You want it to perform every day, not have any issues. These doors are removable, so you can go full window down, remove the doors, top off, full convertible beach truck. Let's go ahead and do a cold fire on it. Original gauges are functioning. Look at those. Original radio, original heaters, all uncut, no modifications, headlights, emergency flashers, wipers, gauges. Original choke down here if you need to use it. I don't think you need to. Like I said, that was a cold start. Here, I found an imperfection. In the center of there, there's a small hole. So far, first imperfection I found on this. This is dual fuel tanks. You can take this on a road trip. Performance of it. Engine sits there perfectly still. It's got plenty of horsepower to go and do anything you possibly need. Manual steering, manual brakes, but it is a light Bronco. You do not need all of that. A nice sounding, period correct exhaust. Dual exhaust. Sounds great. Love box, brand new. Original fuse box in here. Original Vintag right there. Here it is, one of the nicest original Broncos that we have had in a long time. 1973 Ford Bronco, uncut, four-wheel drive, 302, automatic transmission.